Good morning, everybody. Vicki is getting our music going. Amber is over here. Uh, we are going to do a floor ring today. So what that means is we're going to get down on all fours. Where you're going to be able to see uh, some of us do some side stuff. Some of us do it forward. First thing we're going to do is we're going to get down. Uh, and I will show side blades, side blades first. And we are just going to do what's called cat camel or cat cow. So shoulders stay down, butt goes up, belly goes down, belly goes up. We're just going to open up that back. Got it. Nice. Going up and down, up and down, up and down. All right, so we're going to do a superset workout today. In that superset workout, we're going to do three exercises, and we're going to go through them four times. We're going to hit all the body, but not be very metabolic. There might be a little bit. All right, from here, stay on all fours. Sit back on your heels. Come back up to all fours. Sit back on those heels. Come back up to all fours. You can keep your shoelaces on the ground. You can curl your toes up. It's up to you. Whatever is more comfortable. All right, now. You're going to follow Vicky and I a little bit more on this one. We're going to do hip cars. So we won't tell you exactly what that means, but we're going to lift our leg up to the side, rotate it down behind, then we're going to bring it down to the floor. Then we're going to raise it up to the sky, turn it out to the side, and bring it back to its starting position. We'll do that same side over and over. Leg lift to the side, heel up, rotate to the back, bring it down, let knee side by side, go back up, Rotate out, and this is really opening up those hips. From all that sitting we do, we want to get that femur out of the way. We want to pull it out of its joint and just loosen it up. So, we'll do one more on this side. All right, and now we're going to go to the other side. So we're going to lift the leg up to the side. Pivot that heel up to the sky. Rotate that knee behind you and bring it down side by side. Lift it up. Rotate out, come back down, and then let's repeat that. Up to the side, heel up high, rotate behind, side by side. Up to the sky, out to the side, come down, put your knee on the floor. One more on this side, knee up, rotate, bring it around. Let's repeat going backwards, up to the sky, turn, pivot, and side by side. From here, let's take that left leg, put it out to the side of our body. So from the side of the body, we're gonna sit down and sit back up. We're gonna sit down and sit back up. And all we're doing is we're sliding that foot out a little bit each time. Good. Open it up. You can point that toe to the ceiling if you want a little bit of a different stretch. All right, we're gonna go to the other side. Leg goes out, sit back down, sit back up. Sit back down, sit back up. Good, we're doing a nice job. Good, keep pivoting, go down and up, down and up, down and up. Excellent, so now, we're gonna bring that knee back in, we're gonna sit up tall. You can be down on your shins, you can be up nice and tall, it doesn't matter. We're just gonna do a big shoulder roll. Good. You can alternate. You can do them both at the same time. Today's workout has three moves in each superset. Our first superset will be back rows. We'll do some lunges side to side. And we'll do some standing planks or some floor planks. Your choice. In the next superset, we'll do some chest presses, some glute bridges, and a V sit. And then in our last superset, we'll do some overhead presses, with some deadlifts and then some high knees or shuttle runs or something to get our heart rate up. All right, one last thing. From this position, take one of your legs and bring it up into half kneeling. Take both of your hands and put them on the floor and then take that outside hand and rotate it. So both hands on the floor, up and rotate. Some of you are gonna be able to stack that body. Some of you are only gonna get three quarters of the way up. Some of you are not gonna get up very high at all. That's okay. The idea is I'm just going to go through this gently and slowly. Let's switch sides. All right, both hands up, both hands on the floor. Rotate through. Good. As we rotate through, try and rotate and pause for a minute. Get up to the sky, point, push a little, and then take a break. All right, from here, 
we are going to start with standing work, back row, side lunges, and some plank taps or box taps. Um, so you're going to want a band or some weights. You maybe want something if you're going to do a plank on the floor, so keep that towel close by, grab your things, and we'll be right back. All right, we're getting set up for that first superset. Amber's going to teach us through it. I'm going to do weights. Vicky's going to do some band work. Follow the person that's best for you. Ready, back rows coming up in three, two, one. Awesome job. Everybody is keeping a nice flat back, whether you have a pivot point or if you just have weights or a band like Bobby does standing. Tension going at the hips, keeping those shoulders down. Elbows draw close to your body and behind you. Got 10 more seconds here. Squeeze at the top. Alternating side lunges up next. Almost done. Few more seconds. Woo! Alternating side lunges. All right. Show me the isolated version. Uh, I will. All right. Here we go. <sighs> Body weight warming up, round one. Couple versions here. Vicky showing a version where you step out and then step back to center and switch. Bobby's just showing where you keep your stance nice and wide, drop to one side and then the other. Notice that he's pushing his hips back so he's not bringing his knees forward. That looks painful. It does not feel good, yeah. That's what you're not supposed to do. Almost done here, five more seconds. Then we have those plank, the plank tap variations. All right, I guess I'll go to the floor and do some planks. Somebody can show some, some couch plank taps. All right. Hands are elbows together. Elbows stay underneath shoulders. Maybe showing a plank on her elbows so you can see her. Squeezing that core. Bobby's showing a version where his feet are wide and he's keeping his hips level as he brings one hand up and touches the opposite shoulder. Keeping our head, mid of our back, and our butt all in one nice line. Keep breathing, five more seconds. Going back up to those back rows. Woo! All right, three moves done. Gotta do it three more times. Grab your bands, grab your weights. Set up for those back rows. Here we go. Awesome job. Back stays nice and flat. Let those shoulders melt down your back. Don't let them creep up towards your ears. If you can make this more challenging by putting her feet together with a pivot point. But also squeeze longer at the top. Alternating side lunges up next. Maybe add some weight this time. I think I will, Amber. All right, then. Here we go. Five more seconds. If these aren't feeling good, you can also do reverse lunges. Or, here we go. I will do the reverse lunge version. Chest stays up. This is not a bowing move, no matter what you're doing. Pushing off that outside foot for doing those side lunges. Keeping that core nice and strong. Knee stays over the ankle. Five more seconds here. Then we have those plank variations. All right, you gotta sneak that last one in. Make sure you're even. I'm gonna try not to block lovely Vicky with my couch here. Here we go, abs on fire. Wrist stay underneath shoulders. Core stays nice and strong. If I were to be really mean to Bobby and, and Vicky, to press down on their backs, they should not move. Focus on that breath. Keep that core nice and strong. Squeeze those glutes. Back rows up next. Almost done. Woo! Halfway done with this superset. Now you know what we're doing. Amber, what happens if I feel it in my neck? 
feel it in your neck by straining your neck. So drop those shoulders down. Awesome job. Use that exhale. Bring those hands in towards your ribs. Elbows go behind you. Good reps here. We're in the third round. Almost done. Side lunges. Up next. It's only three moves, but woo! Right? They creep up on you, baby. Remember, the alternate side lunges aren't working. But also just do reverse lunges or forward lunges or whatever lunge your heart desires. Awesome job. Keep it up. Halfway done. Keep that chest up. Shoulders stay relaxed. Imagine there's a string at the top of your noggin pulling you up. Spine stays nice and long. Almost done. Amber, where is my noggin? Up here. Hopefully. Plank's up next. <laughs> Vicky was in fish. We almost lost Vicky there. Yeah. Squeeze that core. Pops if you're laughing too, that makes your abs work way harder. Longer lifespan, right? Use that exhale. Keep pushing the ground away from you. Avoid sinking down into those shoulders, pushing away actively. Almost done here. One more round of these three moves coming up. Woo! Right? Here we go, back rows. I really should kill the person who wrote this with me. Awesome job. You're hinged forward like me and Bobby. Our backs are flat and we're pushing our hips back. Focusing on leading with the shoulder blade movement and the elbow follows. Keep control of this. We're not starting with a lawnmower. Almost done. Side lunges up next. Got the bonus one in there for this one. Woo. Bobby's got a weight. He's gonna hold close to his chest. Another version for weights. You can have them up here by your shoulders. You can have them down low towards the leg that you're lunging towards. Chest stays up. Keep that core nice and strong. Ankles under that knee. Almost done. Planks up next. And that's the last move of this superset. Yes. my couch back. Working those abs. Here we go. Pushing that ground away from you. Remember, a wider stance will make you feel more stable. It's especially helpful if you're throwing in shoulder taps. Want to avoid rolling out. Stay nice and strong. Ten seconds left. Keep that good form. Yes, you can. Less than five seconds. Woo! All right. Thanks, you on all those moves. We're going to come back with some floor work. Double arm chest press on the floor with a band or dumbbells. Some glute bridges, also dumbbells and band. And then the V sit. Make it a little bit more challenging. Vicky will take us through it. We'll be right back. We're going to go ahead and start with our chest press. Bobby get his legs. Amber's going to show where it's doubled up behind her back. We're going to be starting in three, two, one. Here we go. So you're pushing that back 
and shoulders into the ground, core into the ground, and you are on um, with weights, elbows are coming all the way, tapping the ground, going straight up. Amber's making it a little bit harder this round, raising her legs, but she's still pushing her abs into the ground, making sure that her elbows are tapping. We've got five more seconds. Keep going on those press press. Make sure that you are breathing. And then we're gonna stay right there and go into our glute bridge. Nice. You can keep a weight if you want for this as well. I think Bobby is going to. All right, we're going to be starting in three, two, one. I'm going to go ahead and join you. You're digging your heels into the ground, raising your hips up to the ceiling, squeezing at the top. If you want to make it a little bit easier, have your arms on the ground. If you want to make it a little bit harder, you can put them on your chest or raise them up above your head. Either way, though, make sure that you're digging the heels in the ground, Squeezing at the top. We've got eight more seconds here. Then we will be going to our B sit. Keep going. Now stop until the timer does. Three, two, one. All right. So on your B sit, depending where you are, you can put your feet on the ground. You can put your leg, hands behind your legs. You can raise them off the ground. If it gets too hard when you're there, just come and bring them right back a little bit. Wherever you need to be. Here we go. I'm going to go ahead and raise mine up. And hold on to them. Bobby's holding his arms across his chest. Amber's going to do an advanced version and put hers up. Either way, keep breathing, stay focused. Focus, it helps to focus on one little spot, maybe on the wall in front of you. Like I said, if you need to bring your legs down, go ahead and touch. Keep your hands here, wherever you need to go. You've only got six more seconds. Don't stop, and we're going right back to the top of the round. Three, two, one. Nice. Beautiful. Hey Vicky, what if you have an anchor point? Should we show them that one? Sure. So if you do have an anchor point with that band, go ahead and put it around there. Put your back toward the anchor point. We're going to start in three, two, one. You can do a staggered stance. Same concept. Just pulling your arms forward, squeezing. If you're on the ground, you are tapping your arms to the ground. Make sure your core is engaged. Whether that be if you're standing up, core is engaged, shoulders are back and down, you're on the ground, pushing that ab into that back into the ground. Three, two, one, we're going right to our glute bridge. Catch your breath. Whew. Nice thing is you don't have to get up and down. You can stay right here. That's true. And to the bright side. There you go. Take that heel into the ground. All right, your arms around the ground the first time. Let's see if we can put them on your chest. Try to dance it just a little bit from where we were on that first round. Squeeze those glutes. Drive those hips up to the ceiling. Make sure that your shoulders are pressed in to the mat. Keep going. You want to make it a little bit faster? That's fine, but just make sure you're squeezing those glutes. Three, two. One, right into our music. Woo! So I think we should have Bobby maybe hold the weight this time because he wanted to work out. Here, let me get that for you. I'm not doing it for you, Bobby. All right, again, wherever you're at, you need to have your feet right on the ground to start. Grab your hands up, lift your legs up. If you want to be like Bobby, and be shaky. Woo, this is so great! Hold a little weight. Even if you just do it for a few seconds, there's no little progression. It's so good. You guys are doing great at home. Keep it up. We've only got 10 more seconds here. Woo! You can do it for six more seconds. Three, two, keep going. One. Nice. I would clap, but I had to hold the weight. Uh, nice. All right. <laughs> Back to our chest press. All right. I'm going to do the pivot point again. Amber's got the band all up. Bobby's going to do weights. If you're doing the pivot point, you want to make it a little bit harder, put your feet together. Make sure that your ribs are down. Whew, keep breathing. Make sure that you're using that air to your advantage. If you're pushing those legs up, exhale. Make sure that you're pushing your back into the ground and your elbows are touching the ground if you're on the ground. Keep going. We're going into our glute bridge. We've got six more seconds here. Don't stop. Woo! Three, two, one. All right. 
Shoulders, hello. Yeah, four chances, that's going to be a lot of fun. Yeah, that is going to be fun. Love it. Are you doing that? I can do a band as well. Oh, I'm going to do a deadly quick weights. Choking up on those candles to make it easier. Hinge forward, keep a flat back. Hips press back like you're sitting on a bar stool. Keep that weight close to your body. Notice that we're not flaring out the weight at all. Stay nice and close, following one straight line. Dig through those heels as you stand up and squeeze at the top. We're gonna get our heart rate up in a few more seconds. Shuttle runs, high knees, jump ropes, something. Clearing out paths so we're safe. And we're going. Thank you, student, to jump up. I'm doing high knees. Got me, student, to shuttle run. Side to side. Knees come up towards the chest if you're doing high knees. Body in that rhythm if you're jumping rope. If you want to just do jumping jacks. Or even a little more simple jacks. Something to get moving. Five more seconds. You're going to start with those shoulder presses. Kneel if you have to. If you have a band, maybe you need to step on it with one foot. Two feet makes the band a little bit more tense. Our hands are in line with our shoulders. They're not out in front of us. They're not behind us. Pressing up straight towards the ceiling. Exhale as we press up. Keeping that core nice and strong. Shoulders melt down your back. Away from your ears. Deadlift coming up next. Oh, Nelly! Right? If you don't have any bands or any weights, you can still do the single leg deadlift, just alternating. Weights in the heel, keeping that balance. Awesome job. Push through that ground as you stand up. You should feel it in your glutes. And maybe even a stretch in your hamstrings. Almost done. Now we're gonna get our heart rate up. Find some space. Be nice and safe. I'm grateful for that 15 seconds right now. So let's go. <laughs> this is a tough workout. Make sure you're pacing yourself. You want to do good work here. Awesome job. After this, we're halfway done with our last super set. Ten more seconds. Keep it up. Remember, you can also do jumping jacks. Three, two, one. Overhead shoulder presses for the third time. Woo. Yeah, this is getting more and more fun to talk and do this at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> Only in the 80s, it's fine. Press up. And lower back down with control. Keep those hips tucked under, not arching our back. Awesome job. Ten more seconds. Switch to neutral grip if you have to. Deadlift up next. Woo. Get your sandbag, get your weights, get your bands. Here we go. Weight stays close to our bodies. And we're painting that fence. And our shins on the fence post. Wow. 
That was an analogy right there. Okay, so if you're going to the fence, what did you say? To the fence? Or what's on the fence? Oh. Come on, let's go. That. Five seconds. The shake your legs version just sounds very violent to me for some reason. Now we have those shadow runs, high knees. But oh, I only have paint on the front of my legs, not the sides. It's only the front. The fence is going to look not level. Getting that heart rate up. One more round of these exercises after this. Doing good work here. Keep breathing. Option two. Ten seconds left. Only a few more seconds. Woo! Shoulders for the last time. Woo! Here we go. Awesome job. Vicky showing great side of you. Her weight stay in line with her body the whole time. Awesome job. Ten seconds left. Push up towards the ceiling. Five more seconds. Almost done. Sure. Deadlifts. I'm going to get in the home way and then I get all my legs. <laughs> Hinge forward, keep that weight close. Push through those heels and squeeze those glutes at the top when you stand. Keep those shoulders back. Don't want them to roll forward. Back stays nice and flat. Less than 10 seconds. Almost done. Getting our heart rate up for the last time. Last one, baby. Let's go. I'm going to need a couple of breaths before the start. Here we go. Awesome job. A little bit. This is the last workout of this super set of the day. Giving your best. Remember, jumping jacks are an option too. Woo! Now you can step out and do you switch up the jacks that way. Ten seconds left. Finish strong. Almost done. Okay, no, fair to make me younger. Okay, sorry. No, it's all my bad. Sorry, sorry. I'll keep going to make that better. Woo! All right, everybody, nice job. So, we left a little bit of extra time at the end of this one so that you could. Do what's best for you. Most people dedicate an hour in their day. So, if you are served by doing some really good stretches, make sure you stretch the whole body. Make sure you go pull a little video out that has all the stretches in it. Don't skip out on anything. If you should do some more foam rolling or cross ball, that's also a great use of your time. If you need to go get your heart rate up a little bit more, hey, head on out. Go for a walk, go for a run, go for a jog, go for a bike ride. Maybe just go to the front of your house, jog to the mailbox, come back. Jog to the light post, walk back. But something. I want to thank Amber and Vicky who have pretty much disappeared. Uh, no, sorry. It's They're on cleanup mode already. <laughs> they, just, they, they, must, they, they must have a hot cake. They're ready to go. We will, uh, we will see you guys next time. Have a great day.